hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i made this wig using my sewing machine method i'm using hair from ic princess hair company they sent me three bundles of jerry curls hair in 220 and 118 and this is what the packaging looks like also this is what came into the package some eyelashes um an edge brush brochure that comes with it that has all the care for the hair the return policy and all that jazz um this is what the hair looks like it was really pretty and this is all the hands look and this is the amount of hair that comes on into one bundle of the hair it was a lot um i didn't end up using all of the bundles i only used two and a half with the six by six closure so at first when i whenever i'm doing making ways i always co-wash my hair and i use the aveda cherry blossom shampoo and conditioner and look how pretty this hair is it's so pretty like and it didn't even tangle or anything because i wore it to work two days ago and it was so nice everybody loved it i love how big it is at one point i'm like oh is it too big and i talked through while i was doing the video so i hope you guys like this video everything will be in the description bar for you to check out so yeah um i hope you guys like it so take care guys and i'll see you in my next one bye okay i like to use a dome cap whenever I um making my wigs and this is the one that i use sometime and there's another one that you find at the big supply store as you can see i get this for 199 so this is what the dome cap looks like it's one size i'm normally at 20 and a half to 21 inches circumferences for my head shape so this is a 21 inch head and i have my t-pins these are what i use to all my wigs together so how i determine my measurement and how i fit the um the dome cap properly onto the mannequin head i use three measurements the circumference of my head which i just go like this and this is this is 20 it says 22 but it's because of the the cap so i would say 21 inch and then from my forehead or wherever you want your lace frontal or your lace closure to start so i normally put mine right here to so the nape of my head which is right here and this is it says 13 13 so yeah 13 and then from ear to ear which is 12 so i'm gonna put the dome cap on the mannequin head and i'm gonna use those measurements you already know the circumference so i won't do the circumference i'll only do front to the knee which then this is 13. let me spin that around that's 13 right there and then ear to ear which is 12 which is perfect so I'm gonna pin these in place next what I do from here I measure my lace closure or lace front or whichever one you're using and I'm gonna put that on yeah I'm gonna use an eyeliner pencil to do the marking i'm gonna pin this as well and this is a six by six lace closure so i'm placing this a little more than the airline than the line from the dome cap then i pin that right here i'm gonna pin on a two on the sides Then I'm going to trace where the cap is. So this is where the lace closure is going to be. No, I want to know where I'm going to sew my tracks. And I make like 
an inch to an inch and a half yeah so an inch apart so my first track's gonna go right here and another one right here so this is what I do because if I don't give them if I don't give spaces between like a lot of space between these it will not stretch so not, I want the stretch to stay in the fabric so that's the reason why I give this amount of space between um, each of the lines and this is what I'm gonna follow when I'm sewing the hair with my machine I'm gonna put my machine on zigzag stitch, which is number four. So now my machine is on my sewing machine is on number four. I'm gonna put the length of 3.5. So now I'm gonna sew. So what I do, I always double my tracks. I don't unravel them. So I double them. And this is the back stitch. So the the thread is well secure and this is how it looks zigzag stitch it's doubled now to put it on all I need to do is follow these lines so let me show you With the same zigzag stitch and I'm not pulling on the hair or anything it normally takes me around 30 minutes to do 30 to 45 minutes so I'm just following the line And I do cut my weft when I'm making these. This is how it will look on my head. So inside